sit with Kit. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. Sit with Kit. Sit with Kit. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. Yeah. Hello, everyone. It's Kit Carson here in front of Angelina's Pizza, home of the number one pizza shop show on the internet. And as everybody knows by now, I sit here and I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods. Tonight, I have a young gentleman. I'm not sure. I'll let you be the judge. Which category does he fall into? Sir, if you would, look into that camera and give everybody your lovely smile. I don't have any teeth right now. You don't have any teeth right now? Yeah, because I got a boat accident. Okay. But anyway, kids like my button in... I'm what? Yeah, have you ever known about how to get a um, illegitimate father? Because I know. You do. This man has known me since I've been 19 years old. 19. I designed my first nightclub in Daytona. I have a bunch of problems, and this is the only man that actually deals with mine. I deal with him? Will you listen wow. to me? So. What is your name? My name is... I think, I think you said Big Billy, but I don't think... Oh, no, 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 no. Why would you want me to tell my name? I got an FBI, sucker. I got a... I got a when I was 27, I had a RICO Act charge on me. God dang, oh, that kid. Was, that was years ago. I beat it, too. That was years ago. When I was me my whole life. So, okay, I'm going to tell you guys what happened. So, can I call you Lewis? You can call me my son. All right, son. No, for real. Like, we went to a Christmas dinner, New Christmas Eve dinner. Yeah. And on the way from the Christmas dinner, we had, um, we went by, um, we were at, um, we went to that place, Viva Zapata. And on the way, hello, ladies, I'm famous. Look at me. <laughs> and anywho, so on the way back, when we were walking by, there was a lady came. Um, there was a, a painting in the in the window, yeah. and it a looked yes, and it looked like me. It looked like you. And you even you're the me, one who called it out. Me and my wife were walking. Yep. We had. Uh, Christmas dinner with those. It was called my I plant my wrist my I plant my flowers in your wrist. It's yeah. by Elaine Bynar. And that was in the gallery down the street. Yes, and Kennedy Gallery. To be there. You happened to be there too, because you took me there. That's he scary. didn't really know me. No, I did not know you. But Matt was my roommate. I let him live in my house. Yeah. Uh excuse me, we're over here. Hello. Yeah, but you're not as cute as that little puppy. I'm not. Nope, 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 not at all, not at all. And there goes a, there goes a little Frenchie. Oh, that's a cutie patootie right there. Uh -oh. oh, but this one's in the show. Yeah. What do you have to say? And then, <laughs> and then, and then we got another one back there. Don't, don't let that one go by. That's a cutie patootie. So, we, too. we love the dogs. They, all okay, so this is what happened one time when I was first in Key West. Do you remember the first transsexual event you ever had? First transsexual event. I can't say that it's happened yet. Trans. I did. Okay, so I've been me most of my life except for this one time, and normally I don't speak about it, but because it's you guys, I'll tell you. No one will see it. Twenty. Okay. People. So basically, I was walking down the street, and I had, I had playing cards and I would throw one of the playing cards up and it'd go around and it, and I was doing that and I was all high on ecstasy or whatever fucking and I went and I hit the concrete pole and I knocked myself out I woke up the next morning and my clothes were all folded and I was on this couch and this beautiful woman with these great boobs with long black hair said oh you okay honey and I said yeah, what happened? She goes, you hit yourself on the pole. And I go, really? She goes, yeah. And I went like this, and I had a Band-Aid. And then she went, and she took a pee. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. What happened? She goes, nothing happened, honey. I'm like, so you got a dingling? She goes, yeah. And I was like, you're adorable, though. She goes, I know, it's just the way I was born. I said, that's cool. This is the kicker. 
when I walked out of the fucking house. I mean, I don't know if we can curse on here. But when you walk out, I walked out look, like this. Look. And I looked over and there was a daycare center and a little four-year-old kid was looking at me like this. I go, and we're not talking. We're not talking at all. And I'm looking at him and he's got his eyebrow up and he's like this. I'm like, no. And he's like, yeah, you did. I'm like, no, I, I, I'm like, no, I did not. He goes, I know it. I know who lives in there. I'm like, I'm looking at it. We didn't say a word. I'm looking at him. I'm like, I hate you, little boy. And he's like, whatever. Yeah. She stands up to pee pee. And I'm like, I didn't do anything. We're not talking. It was like a three minute of us just looking at each other. Then I felt foiled. I left. Did and I was like this about that little kid. Oh. 30 years so later, I'm worse? still selling the story. So was it the little kid or the... Or the transsexual event? Which one? Oh, I woke which up. I didn't have a problem. I woke up was and I was control? like, good was morning, America. Hell no. I woke up like I was a rock star. Yeah. And then, uh, a rock star, Lewis. And then she took a piece standing up. Well, you know. I mean, she was hot as fuck, dude. Oh, well. Totally. You know? I am I asexual. Like no, gender does it. So I'm a little bit of an asexual right now. Because my wife left me with my best friend, Mikey Duke, and my, uh, which she knows, and my dog, and, uh, yeah, and then, um, my girlfriend got ran over and my mom died. Speaking of which, how do you do the things you do? No. Where, where, did, where were you born? Was it Texas? I was born in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, I had to be taken there in seclusion to be born. Why? Because my mom was abducted, my truly. Aliens? No, by the bandito people. Oh, yeah. Not okay. really. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. And uh, so um, she was supposed to not have me. Huh? And I, she took me to my Uncle Joe's house in San Antonio and had me, yeah. and I had red hair. And I was from a Hispanic, <laughs> La Barrio. My grandfather had a first Mexican restaurant in downtown Bryan, Texas, College Station a and Lyle Lovett, Dwight Yoakam, Robert O. Keene, and George Strait. They all went to my grandfather's restaurant, and then they would go across the street to La Salle and write their tunes. For real, because my grandfather would give you beer. He couldn't. Uh, he didn't have a license to sell you beer. But, but if you came in the morning and you, 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 you got, you bought food, my grandfather would be like, "You need a beer." Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you can get away with that. I don't know if you can anymore. Oh yeah, we can. Well, you know, maybe. maybe. Yeah, we can. There's not now. We can't. It's a now we can. Now we can. Now we can do anything you want. Um, Me, when you grow up. You know, I have. I. You know who I want to be when I grow up? No, tell me. Just a little bit a better version of myself. Huh. But do you know what? I mean, I'm pretty awesome right now. Well, you're a rock star. But I came here in 1992. Wow. With a band in the back, and we. Um, saying music. Rick Ross, I mean, Rossi, yeah. Mark hated me because he knew that I was not 21, but I was still with the band, sleeping upstairs. Yeah, yeah. the old band house. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Man, that was cool shit, dude. Yeah, it was. That was some good Man. times. Man, we've been here a minute, haven't we? We have. Maybe two. Pay to that. Yeah. So basically, hey, what's your dream? No, I got it. Basically, what goes on is there's only a certain couple of people that really deal with me on a normal level, and Kit Carson is one. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a normal level, though. Well, I think it is. Oh, okay. I go to the blue. I go to the nervous hospital, the maybe. Nervous hospital. That's what I call it. Yeah. I go there yeah. maybe every three or four months. Just to get, you know, yeah. that redneck rehab. Yeah. They got good food, yeah. snacks at 8 o'clock. 
Yeah. They gave me all my meds. No, for real, dude. They, give you all your they meds. gave me my meds. Eight o'clock, they're like, snack time. Pudding and all kinds of crap. Guess what I saw last night? What? My, the head psychiatrist, the under psychiatrist, the head nurse, and the head, they were walking right down the deal, and I was like, dang. Oh, and I was they painting. found you, huh? No, I was painting. <laughs> and I just looked at them, and I was like, they look at me. These are what I've had on since Thursday. Well, these, are my, them now. these are my pants from the, from the nervous hospital. From the nervous hospital. <laughs> it's called the poo. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, the poo. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a mental health center. Mental health center? Is that what they it is? give me the good drugs. Well, no, it is a mental health and a rehabilitational yeah. place that I love and they treat me really so well. Yeah, they do. They and I love them, them all. Yeah, you, and every time I leave, someone gets a painting. Let me just say this to anybody at the Pooh, if they're watching or listening, Whenever you get out of there, you are always so humble and thankful for what they do for you there. And it is you true. No, for real. Oh, listen. Absolutely. I will go. When I go there, I, listen, I am for real. When I call them and I say they know my voice and I'm like, they're like, Lewis, I'm like, nah. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> so, I, and my voice is there like you. And when I call them and I have to go there, yeah. like I go, I don't sleep. I have a mental condition. And like I don't, I won't sleep for days, like three or four days. I got a bottle of rum over there. It's my second fucking fifth, and I drink a lot. And I take my medication, but I, I'm afraid to because you fall asleep and they want to rescue you for camping. Go <laughs> 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 fuck yourself. Does this look camp. like it's camping? Okay, let me just say this: camping. Is a recreational event that takes place overnight, usually in a tent or some kind of overnight apparatus. This is not convenient. I'm here because I have nowhere to go and it's raining and kids not open yet. So, and that you gotta go to jail for that, but they do here. I think I think I get your point. It's not really camping. It's no, not camping. it's not. Hey, puppy. I love you. What do you think about the world? <laughs> I, I, and that, there you go. That's what and that's mean. why you can go, whatever. Hurt yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure what he did to that dog. I don't know. I'm not sure. Only the dog knows. Listen, dogs and kids. Not the way I, I my... Most of them are good. Yeah. You know? What else you got on the Lewis? I know you've got a million stories. You don't have to tell them all. Well, I'll tell you something else that happened just recently if we want to get to that. Well, what happened was basically yeah. me and my friend, we were like hanging out like yeah. over there. Yeah. And then a police officer came and told me that I couldn't not be there. And I was like, why not? And then, you know what? I was told that because of the fact that it was before the day of seven, that I was not allowed to be there. No. You know what I was doing? I was watching Channel 7 News. Oh, that's a crime probably. Yep. But before I was doing that, I was watching the weather, which the police didn't do. So when that crack of white lightning came the other morning yep. and it rained like hell, guess where I was? Safely underneath the damn firehouse. And you know what he told me to do? When the rain breaks, you got to leave. I said, why? <laughs> I said, you need to be a little bit more aware because you can't camp here. They like to use that term camping, don't they? You're a camper. Hey, hey how you guys doing? Hey, what's up? What's going on? Uh, Angelo's you know, Pizza, as always, okay. There comes a Are we like live on TV? What's yeah. going on? I lose control. And right now we got Lewis. And I think Lewis is... Look at you got these little things over here on your oh, microphone. Lewis says I got little things on my microphone. Look at that. It's insane. Yeah. Okay. okay, let me tell you for real. Yeah, so okay. basically, this whole shit. Yep. I don't know. 
He's he's going to he's going to his car because he's not camping. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now listen. So for real. So this is no. This is for real. So I have a mental issue, but I. I have very few people that literally like that I will like sit there and just like rant and like men and like feel like like I'll like complain a little bit. So this was and I paint. I just sell my painting for a hundred dollars. Eight by ten and hello yeah you holla. Anywho, so this is how I would sit here before you and your microphones and cool things. I would come here and rant a little bit to Kid yeah. because he was all like it made me feel safe and it did and I would sit right here and now it's called sit with Kid. You feel safe? Yeah, I have okay. to feel safe. All right. Yeah, well, I'm like this is this is one of my home bases. Okay. I would tell you more, but. We're going to save it for another night? Yeah, because I, I got to get paid, sucker. I think, yeah, well, we got to get through SAG cards and we'll get your scale, whatever. Oh, the SAG? Oh, let's not go about that. Well, Let me know. tell you something about that shit. My uh-huh. fucking goddamn aunt is a fucking tailor uh, for Paramount. Like, she would be, like, in there and, like, literally, I'm not fucking with you. And technically, she would be in there and she's like, what are you doing? And she's, like, hemming, like... Donna somewhere is like, yeah. but like that. She was like that. But we had um. What? She was. You you remember um, what's her name? The Mexican girl that that got killed by her manager. Oh, not um uh, yeah, a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. What's her name? I can't remember. I don't, but I remember. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, um, what's her name played her in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. So that that was my was aunt's best friend. Longer. That yeah. was my aunt's best friend. That was the manager of the genre. Wow. Yeah. And Emilio, that was on on um, um, Sesame Street. Oh, let me go off on Sesame Street. Oh, you guys aren't going to believe this. Okay, so my uncle Emilio was the longest running Hispanic person on any kind of deal. And he was on Sesame Street for 47 years. I got some shit to tell you about Big Bert. First of all, she's a woman. Big Bert, a street freak. Okay. Snap the Galapagos. You remember Big Bert? You remember? Come here. Come here. Come on, listen. No, but for real, let me tell you. Listen, you remember Sesame Street? Yes, I remember Sesame Street. Oh, hey, Big Bird, Speed Freak, was he not? A what? A Speed Freak. What is yeah, that? He was doing like speed all the time. <laughs> Snapalapagus was a heroin addict. Hey, Big Bird. Okay. And Oscar Lewis, the Brown, I you could be a crackhead that lived in a trash can. Oh, well, you know. The Count Dracula was a pimp. Thank God for He had too many fucking women I, I and he ripped them out. Idea. What do you have to I think about that? I don't, know I, I don't even Lewis have anything to say to that. Did you watch that? Lewis, Lewis what is this for? Out, out on his own um, chances somewhere. Us and the whole world. Ask him. She wants to know what is this for. For a school project. That's a high school project. Okay. But you have played and you're awesome. Sesame Street is not as cool as you people think. And beware of unicorns. Oh. Unicorns are fucking horrible. Okay, so hold on before you go. Let me just ask you one question. Don't hang out with unicorns. Oh. Don't hang out with unicorns. One question. Lewis, if you were a what? pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? A meaty pizza. A meaty pizza. Well... I just want to thank everybody for watching my little conversation here with Lewis. There's what, people watching us? There, well, there will be. There'll be 27. Really? And as always, we hope that you... Hey, look at me. I didn't know we were on TV. Hi. And I hope you subscribe to this channel. You never know what you're going to get. Because you might see me some more. Hi. All righty, Tim. That's all I got for now. Thank you. That was- Everybody wants to sit with kid. I said sit with kid. Sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid.
It's Sit With Kit, starring the Earl of Pizza himself, the number one pizza shop show on the internet. Prove me wrong. Join Kit and his celebrity guests from Angelina's Pizzeria on Duval Street in Key West for the fun never stops. Sit back, relax, and laugh. You never know who's going to show up for Sit With Kit.